Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. I remind you that we release a new video three times a week. Look at the sketch. This dress is designed by myself. Today, we continue designing, as we didn't finish it in the previous video, because it would have been too long. Let's sum up. We completed this part together with the waistband. And this part, I need only to add some flares and design the back. Let's start. And I start with drawing the waistband on the back. The back is symmetric on both sides, and that's why there's only one back detail. Okay, I put the sketch aside. First of all, I draw this line of the waistband. These two points must match on the left side, okay? This is where the waistband starts. Lay down 5 centimeters or 1.9 inches from the point. And this is the center back. And here the same. Keep in mind that the waistband is 5 centimeters or 1.9 inches wide. I've already done this on the other pattern, so I'm just copying it. Then I'm measuring 14 centimeters or 5.5 inches from the center back and making the godet line, like so. Let's mark the back the same. The center back, the side, the side seam, to be precise. Next, this is the dart and I draw it here. And we don't need any more for this one. It's moved a little to the side, like so. I think this time we'll pay more attention to the back. It's great that we started to design such difficult garments. It'll help us not only to understand the tailor's job, but also develop our brains. The brains need to be trained constantly. I'm cutting the waistband out and marking the side. And this is the center back. And I've got two pieces of the waistband because I've cut the waist dart out. That's a good staff, remember it. So, here they are. I'll stick these pieces together. Here's the back waistband. Take a look here, please. Look at the shoulder dart. I cut it here and stick to the gorge. First, I make a dart and then I'll cut 4.5 centimeters or one and a half inches. It was impossible to design all of this in one video. I've just closed the shoulder dart and opened the gorge and now I cut 4.5 centimeters or one and a half inches from the shoulder to get the equal shoulders on the side and on the back. Perfect. Let's cut it. Add a 
and a bit here. In this part, I cut two centimeters or 0.8 inches, but you decide on your own how much you want to cut. Just remember how to do it. Take a look here. I open the back gorge and cut 4.5 centimeters or one and a half inches from the shoulder. We do it to get the equal size of the sides and the back. Perfect. Well done. Here it is, the dart, the waistband. And these two points will match when I sew the dart up. Take a look here. We sew the dart up and add breadth here. Perfect. Then I cut the dress hemline. The flares start from here. Take a look. Look at this dart, the waistband, which is down, also called the right side. Here is the down point. Here it is. From this point, the flare goes down, right here. From this point, the flare goes down. This is the hemline, and it is 41 centimeters or 16 inches. Therefore, the rest of the details are also 41 centimeters or 16 inches. From these points, the flare starts. The back is 41 centimeters or 16 inches. I just mark where the flare starts and the other flares should start from here. From here, from this point and this, the flares must start from one point. So, everything is done here. Now let's work on the back. Here is the waist dart. I start cutting here. I placed the waist dart on the line. If you do watch all our videos, and even till the end, then you will be a professional at designing. Now, I should understand how long the flares will be. I want it in the back center, here, here, also in the side seam and in the princess line. It deepens on you. You can make a flare by 5 centimeters or 2 inches or 7 centimeters, 2 and 3 quarter inches, whatever you want. But I want to make it by 12 centimeters or 4.7 inches. Now I'm thinking that I won't make a flare in the back center but I do want them in the princess line and here and in the side. The same with the front side. This is the center front, and I won't make a flare here. There will be a straight seam in the center front, and the flares will be set in the side and in the princess line. Let's talk about it in detail. Pay attention, please. These details are on the back center. This is the hemline. This is my detail, and I stuck this one here, I make the flare by 12 centimeters or 4.7 inches. And I make a straight line. So the flares go from this point. Next, I measure the length of this part. I didn't do it before. So I got the length and I mark it here. The first detail is done. Now the other ones will be easy to make. That's it. Great. Now I work on the side. I'll make flares by 12 centimeters or 4.7 inches on both sides. So 12 centimeters, 4.7 inches from each side. There are two godets. I cut 12 centimeters, 4.7 inches. 
But again, it depends on you. Make it comfortable for yourself. And I'm cutting flares from the top. I want to sew a magnificent dress. I wouldn't do most of these steps without cameras. I would start with cutting. I don't like sticking and then cutting, but I do it to show you the full patterns. It's much more convenient to do it on fabric, but I want to show you. Let's have a look at the back. Take a look here. I will sew the darts and the seam up. I'm working on the back. This seam. Look at the back carefully. These are the top and the waistband. And the flare goes from that. The center back and the side seam must be matched. Everything is great. We're done. Look what a beautiful flare we have. But you can make how much you want. You can do it or not. That's okay. Whatever you want. Okay. Make it comfortable for yourself, but I want to make 12 centimeters or 4.7 inches, and I mark 12 centimeters, 4.7 inches, from each side. That's it. I'll put the back patterns aside, and I also put the sketch aside and start working on the side. It's very hard. I'm obsessed with work. That's why. Don't pay attention to me. I'm totally obsessed with work. Have a look here. The front center. The front center. Well, I've made a cut here. Now I'll start flaring. I'll use a black marker. This slit, this slit, and this slit. These are the ones I'll use for flaring. Look at the big picture. I won't make the center front flared. Now, what I want to say next, I'll start flaring at this level. It's marked with green color from here. That's why, because it's the level of the lower part on the right half. Now, I'll just tape it and add 12 centimeters from here. Twelve. Twelve centimeters to this level. It's not like I should draw this line straight and then draw an angle here. I'll start a bit higher to make the line more logical. How do I do that? I don't draw it until the end. And like this, smoothly, I lead it here, so that there's no angles in my flaring, though it can be done like this too. Look, on one side, I have already have flaring added to the side seam. My, to be honest with you, I never do this. What I do right now, I usually don't do this. I do it on the fabric right away. Now I'll flare where we have style lines too. I've prepared some paper. Ah, uh, anyway. Uh, 
I'll make the flaring 12 centimeters, and just like this, from this point I started to flare. No, not like this. I tried very hard, and that's what we ended up with. But I'll cut the fabric properly, but you shouldn't do it like this. The side seam. Here's the side seam. That's how it will look. The dress will be flared from the belt starting from this point. You see it, right? Here's the center front. Center front. What's left is to flare here, this style line. This style line is what I need to flare on this side. That's the center front, and it's not flared. The left, front, right side the left front, right side. I should write right side everywhere. Right side. If you work with an asymmetrical garment, always mark the right side everywhere so that you won't mix it up. Here, as you remember, I had a waist dart right here, but I won't cut it here. I'll cut it from here, the way the lines match. And because I didn't cut the waist dart on the left side, I'll do it here, even if it's just one centimeter. Now let's check. We match the center front. A bit like this. Yes, it's a match. There's a bit of extra, of course, as I see it. You should check it on all of the paper, a slightly concave line. In the end, this ruler is not for me, like this. Draw nice, pretty lines here. The left top front, the belt, the waist dart is closed, the bust dart. The waist dart was moved here, you see, the lower part of the waist dart. And it's all flared here. You see, it's all flared. So the back is ready. The left front is ready. We'll work with the right side now. I'll put aside the left side. Look closely to understand it all. Side, side, center, center, center. A nice cut. Here's where the center front seam starts. Here it is. Here starts the cut made with straight lines. I think it'll look awesome on me. I put aside left front, the right bottom. Here we have a style line. I add 12 centimeters here for the flare. Now from this point I do the flaring. Now I have the first part ready. It's this one. This part is ready now. And the second one will be flared to both sides. I'll repeat myself. Learn how to do it on fabric. This video is a tutorial. That's why I'll do it this way. What's it made of? The yoke, the center front, the seam, the side of the top front, the belt on the hip, the center front, the flaring to one side. I mark it as the right side. The right side, right side, right side, right side. Right side. So we don't get it confused. We'll cut the fabric in one layer. So pay attention. We've designed the back. We've designed the top left front. 
Here's the right top front, and the right half consists of the yoke, the center front, the side part, the belt, and two flared parts. The side part of the bottom is flared to both sides by 12 centimeters too. This crepe is rather heavy and I think I'll make the flaring. I think it'll make the flaring look magnificent. I think we'll do the facing at the bottom, but you may not want to do this. Because it is hard. On the flaring like this, you can do the hem for about two centimeters and not more. Or it'll be too complicated. It has to be gathered, fit, and so on. But we'll get back to that later. We'll have the cutting and the review of the finished product. I look forward to it. We have many parts. Pay attention and make sure you've marked every detail. Where's the right side? And where's everything else? Next, look at the sketch. I've put the back aside already. As decorative elements, we have the yoke, the belt on the hips, and the belt on the waist, and the belt on the back. I think we can keep that in mind. I won't design the sleeve for now. When I've done it, I'll show you. I'm very happy I could make such a complicated dress. It seems to be hard because it's being filmed. The problem isn't to cut this, but to show it to you properly. It's much easier in real life. You put the pattern on the fabric, pin it down and leave some, as much as you want, and cut it. Try to not work without making it too bothersome. I'm so ready to make a new wardrobe for myself, make new dresses, new models of new colors, more interesting than I had. So be ready to work hard. I think a model like this will never let us age because our brain has to work. Thoughts run and there's no time to think about age and other troubles. Be different from what you were every day. Click the like button and share our videos in social media and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. All the best from Irina Paukste and the rest of our team.